Adam, great to speak to you. Thanks for your time and a lot of changes uh, around identity. And you've been in the advertising uh, industry for a while and um, it's always about connecting with the right consumer for the right reason at the right price efficiently. You know, how has that changed? And of course we've relied on cookies for quite a while in the digital realm, uh, that's that's going away, being deprecated. Um, you know, how is how, how, how is technology, including blockchain, allowing marketers to reach the audience that matters? Yeah, uh, appreciate the question. Uh, it is a huge change. It's actually a, a, a shift in almost everything we do today. Data and technology is driving and changing how we reach consumers, the channels we reach consumers, uh, the content we use to reach consumers. They all play into each other. And for the accounts I work on at Zimmerman, uh, we're certainly using uh, first party data, our clients data in that case, uh, all the third party resources that we have to identify those consumers. Uh, and in terms of a, a block board uh, like a channel, uh, it's, it's through connected television. So we get right down to the people's homes. As cookies go away, we're able to identify through IP addresses, uh, through footfall traffic, through credit card information. So many ways that we can identify consumers uh, and reach them both on their you know, big screen TVs as well as all the digital devices in their homes. So uh, it, is a, it is really a shift in uh, the basics of finding those consumers at the right place at the right time with the right message. It used to be a lot of guesswork. Now it's pure science. So speaking of science, we don't want to get too deep into the sauce, but what does blockchain mean to you as a media investor and and the use of blockboard? So could you try to break that down a little bit? Sure. So the the world of blockchain um, certainly exists in a lot of different forms and formats for uh, monetary reasons, but the way we use it for advertising and certainly uh, blockboard is uh, a leading uh, company in this space, and maybe the leading company in this space, is to uh, create those unique contracts between an impression and the consumer. Uh, so we know every ad that is running uh, to the best of our ability is, is if no fraud, certainly uh, much more reduced uh, fraud. We know it's reaching a person. We know it's reaching a person in a viewable format. Uh, we know the connection is happening uh, way before um, it gets served and then we have to go back and get made good. So it really reduces the waste that happens with advertising because now every impression is a, uh, a true impression. And what that means to us is uh, in, a, in a very short windows of promotions that we have for our clients, uh, some days they're, they're 10 day promotions, some days even less than that. Every impression is important and every impression counts to drive a, uh, a sale or a join or a transaction. So having blockchain verify those transactions is very, very important um, because we're, we're paying for every one of them and we want every dollar to work harder for us. The other thing that blockchain does for us, uh, that's the front end. On the back end, the reporting is so much better. So uh, it's no more discrepancies on, on third party ad servers and we know exactly what's being served uh, and it's much truer accuracy on uh, what's being delivered. And just to be clear, so it, it gives you the results and also helps you with the planning. How does planning fit into this? Well, we are able to set uh, more realistic uh, spend levels, right? And so if we know we want to reach and make this up a thousand people, I don't need to pay for 3000 people uh, knowing that 2000 of them really are a waste for us. I can only pay for the thousand I, I really want to get. So it's it, it saves me money up front, but I can use that money to either put more impressions into uh, block border connected TV or any other channel. Uh, and I know they're going to hit the people when I need them, where I need them, uh, without, without sort of the inaccuracies of fraud. So it saves me the upfront and it makes me plan, uh, with a sharper pencil. And finally, what is the inventory that you're buying or accounting for using, uh, the, uh, block board? Is that, uh, what is it? Mobile video? What? 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 What's the range of um, media? So there, Blackwood will do a lot of things. I, I'll speak for what we're doing specifically. So it's connected television. Uh, connected TV is is basically the, the streaming apps that are happening in your on your smart TVs. Um, so whether it's uh, sports programming on um, their their sports apps and or regular programming on on other uh, streaming services, uh, my ad is sort of guarantee to get to that home that I need, that home that I know is uh, a high intent prospect for us. Uh, it will be served on, uh, you know, 
big screen TV, 30 second ads, non-skippable. Um, the, the secondary part of it, and this is something that is very unique to them and, and something that we've been experimenting and seeing great success with, is the secondary retargeting connection of what Blockboard can do. So people are seeing the ads on their TV sets in their homes, but now that we know who they are, the IP addresses are, uh, are very clear, we can retarget that same person on their uh, mobile devices and or laptops, desktops, and so forth. So what we're seeing is that uh, secondary connectivity for transaction. So people won't transact necessarily on the TV set, but they will transact in, in a mobile device or a laptop device. So we're, we're getting the benefit of a, like a video-like impression, but with the um, accountability, if you will, of a, a transaction through that retargeting. It's, it's really quite unique.